C'est le temps heureux, it's springtime, the happy time. Et mon cœur joyeux, in springtime, the happy time. There's romance in the air, the breezes sigh and whisper, l'amour, l'amour, l'amour. Time to learn la joie de vivre, the happy time. When your heart's a gay deceiver, the happy time. When pulses start to jingle, and dreams intermingle, and life acquires a tingle, oh, isn't this a happy, happy time? If lips repeat together, chéri, 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 a kiss can last forever and never fini. Did you ever see two lovebirds and notice them? Though they can't pronounce such love words as je vous aime, as on the birds they're swaying, supposedly playing. Summer, you know they're saying, Oh, isn't this a happy, happy time? Oh, isn't this a happy, happy time? Le joli côté de cette histoire est qu'elle intéresse tous les animaux de la création, y compris les poissons de l'océan et les êtres humains jeunes et vieux, sans oublier les oiseaux et les abeilles. Notre récit se passe au Canada, dans la ville d'Ottawa. Il n'y a pas si longtemps, par une de ces journées enchantées où tout parle d'amour, où les cœurs tressaillent d'aise et les têtes se grisent et où l'on se sent des ailes. Après tout, c'est le printemps. Et il y a de l'espoir partout. Et le monde est amoureux. Et l'amour est aveugle. Le beau jour de printemps où chaque brise est comme une caresse. Quelle allure, quel charme suprême. Oh, quelle beauté exquise. Did you ever see two lovebirds and notice them? As on the birds are swaying, supposedly playing. Oh, isn't this a happy, happy time? Grandpère, never mind the gumdrops, Monsieur Lafayette. I have to hurry. Grandpère, Grandpère, what have you got, a canary? Uh, this for you, Vivi. Happy birthday. Merci. Mm -hmm. This looks like the most wonderful bird in all of Canada. <laughs> Does he sing? Only when he's in the mood. And when is he in the mood? Ah, uh, when he sings, naturally. <laughs> I wish he'd do it now. Oh, do not rush him. Birds are like women. You do not force the mood on them. One leads up to the moment gently. Timing's the thing, Vivi. In this case, the timing was wrong? Oh, there was nothing at stake. The sidewalk is no place to win a woman's favor or ask a bird to sing. When the moment is right, one does not need to ask. It is given. Robert! Robert, can I see you a minute alone, Robert? Sure, I guess so. I'll be right in, Gompé. I thought it. It's for you. For your birthday. Thank you. Put it on. Let me see how you look. Well, if it ain't young Fancy Pants Bonnard, what's he doing with your mask? I'm wearing it. To comprendre? To comprendre? You give me a pain. What's the idea? He ain't on our team. I only let you on because you had a mask. Do you want it back? Me? I'm no Indian giver. Anyhow, it's his birthday, and I want to give it to him. But I asked for it first. Ah, but Grandpère says, when the moment is right, one does not need to ask. It is given. I, too, am in the mood to give. For this, you deserve a medal. Hey! Au revoir. He gives me a pain. I think he's cute. Applesauce. Happy birthday, Vivi. Merci. Bonjour, Papa. Bonjour, mon petit Vivi. 
What have you got there? Gompère gave it to me. A wonderful bird who sings only when he's in the mood. Oh, well, obviously he does not sing for a living, then. He's a true artist. Well, I hope he sings for you for many years, Bibi. I've also the ice skates you and Maman gave me. Bonjour, Papa. A stuffed doll from Uncle Louis, a fine catcher's oh, mask. Bibi, the postman left a large envelope for you. It's on the hall table. From your Uncle Desmond. Uncle Desmond. And how does it go with the new love? The widow la touche. Oh, one makes progress. Last night it is discovered she wears a wig. It makes a difference? Well, no one is perfect. I agree. Look, Mama, what Uncle Desmond said. A photograph of himself and two nice ladies. Nice ladies? Jacques, will you look at this? Bibi, go up and wash your hands. They are dirty. At once? Well, you know what's on my mind. Show it to Grandpa. Too skinny. <laughs> what do you suppose Bibi thinks of a thing like this? Thinks? He thinks nothing. He's only happy that this man remembered his birthday. But these women, who are they? What are they? You know Bibi imitates all of you. He's even picked up Desmond's trick with the medals. With the same results? Be still. Jacques, he'll realize what this is all about someday. Well, when he's old enough to realize, he'll be old enough to understand. That Desmond. He's becoming the most roving eye in Ottawa. With everything else, does he have to be a traveling salesman? I shudder to think what's happening to women all over Canada. Well, we have had no reports from the outlying provinces. Don't worry about this, Mark. One of these days, he will change and settle down. It's a transformation devoutly to be wished. You quote? Shakespeare. Ah, there was an Englishman with glands. Be still. Baby, what have you got on your sleeve? They're too long. Before he left town, Uncle Desmond gave me some garters to hold them up. Women's garters. Take them off. Look at them. Off some stranger's legs. To Desmond, she was not a stranger. Jacques! Calm yourself, my love. My brother is young. Your son is younger. Well, after all, there's no great harm in catching garters that are thrown from the stage of the casino burlesque. It's done by some of our most distinguished citizens. It's a form of sport. I don't want garters from the burlesque on my son's arms. Only one is from the burlesque. The other was obtained privately. <laughs> now, Bibi, in the world of men, one does not talk too much. You know what? It's enough to have the garters. One doesn't volunteer the information where they were obtained. You will understand when you are a man. Papa. Hmm? When will I be? What? When will I be a man? Hmm. Soon enough. There is a law of nature called la puberty and is widespread among all animals, being the awakening of a natural appetite. Life will taste better than... Like a good soup. <laughs> it is the seasoning that counts, Papa. But it's a hard appetite to satisfy, believe me, please. Look out! He's in the mood. Oh, magnificent. Perfect area. Ah, in a moment, you shall try your wings. Jacques, you're not going to let that bird out of his cage. That's for a few minutes. I want him to become familiar with our house. He won't fly away. Believe me, my love. This bird, in his song, which I understand completely, has expressed a desire to live his own life. It is a desire that must be respected. How do you know what he wants, Papa? Father, it seems, understands the language of birds. <laughs> the first day we met, he told me that he'd been speaking with a lark who wished us to visit him in the woods. This is how it happened? This is how it began. I knew the bird's wish was granted. You went into the woods with them. Ah, you cannot be all Scotch. Then you are even better than I thought. Ah, ah there we have it. Come, my little Caruso. That's good. <laughs> Papa, the bird is gone. He'll be back. Don't worry. Mama, Papa, look. You see, what did I tell you? A piano. They're moving a piano in. A piano? For us? They will be cow. Such idiots. They have delivered it too soon. What 
talking about? We didn't order a piano. It was supposed to be a surprise for Bibi. Now they have spoiled that. A piano for me? Merci, Papa. Merci. They were told to bring it while Bibi and I were at the theater. What madness is this? You know Bibi can't play a note. It's a mechanical piano. He can play with his feet. You came too early. I said two o'clock. You want us to take it back? No, Papa. Don't let them do it. Well, make up your mind. All right, all right. Get it into the house. I'll move the furniture out of the way. Bibi, happy birthday. Hello, Uncle Louie. Did you get my present? Yes, thank you for the stuffed doll. Come over and see my piano. You can watch them moving it in. Very well. If there's no work involved, piano is a heavy instrument. You used the word work as though you knew what it meant. The husband and the wife must not both work. All the world knows. And why not? It's a matter of la politesse. A man who drinks wine from a water cooler. A man who has not let the thought of work disturb his slumbers for 20 years. You lose so many chances to be quiet. A man who is even able to drink in his sleep. I've seen you. Ah, be still. You're a cork in my cognac. I must go now. You will listen to me first, do you hear? Arrange your ears and listen. You have a daughter. Recall to yourself you have a daughter. An angel from heaven, a pearl among oui, women. Bon, princesse. And yet this sweet child, this tender blossom, cannot get an husband. Pourquoi? 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 Her father drinks wine from a water cooler. Calm your bile. Oh. Do not fret, my golden pigeon. You will yet strike a man blind with your beauty. <laughs> Never a pig. Look, Uncle Louis, it's a mechanical piano. It has many rules. Avalon, Tales from the Vienna Woods, Alouette, Whispering, and I wish I could shimmy like my sister Kate. Why do men keep horses out of work? I must lie down. The sight has fatigued me. But you must come in and listen to it play. I can listen out here. I shall strain my ears to the utmost. <laughs> but play softly. Softly. Whatever possessed you? Bibi wishes to have lessons. And it is for the whole family, tu comprends? It is a good exercise for the legs. Jacques. How much did you pay for the piano? Oh, well, uh, I have this friend, you understand, who, who wanted to get rid of it because he bought a larger one. How much? Hmm? Oh, well, $85. Oh, sure. ah! You see, darling, such a thing is not an extravagance. It's true that one should have money in the bank, but can a bank play a valon? No. What is it, dear? The uh, vacuum cleaner. Ours is broken. Thank you. Thank you very much. <sighs> oh, I'll be late for my matinee. Come along, baby. I'll get my jacket. Are you going too? I go to the Saturday matinee with Papa in honor of my birthday. Well. I guess I'd better go home. Don't forget the vacuum cleaner. Oh, yes, thank you, Mrs. Bernard. Baby, give me a comb. Turn around. Someday, Peggy's going to run out of things she can think of to borrow, and she'll have to admit it's just an excuse to see Bibi. Me? Yes, you. True Bernard. You see, the women come to borrow his vacuum cleaner. Be nice to her, Bibi. She's an American and hasn't been in Canada long. She can't have many friends. She wears braces on her teeth. What's well, hey. well, Come along, Bibi. We're late. Goodbye, sweetheart.
your hands to yourself. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time on any stage in Ottawa, I will attempt to perform a dangerous and mystifying experiment. This lovely young woman is about to be sold in half. Music. Charming assistant appears lifeless. Let us see if we can detect signs of life. Can she still be breathing? I shall listen closely and see. My poor, helpless pigeon. Take care, Gaspari. <laughs> Come in. Are you sure I won't be in the way? Madame object. Object? Object? No, she'll be delighted. But um, perhaps we'd better prepare her for the surprise before she meets you. So if you will wait here a moment. Come, yes, baby. I know she'll be happy. Papa. I remember the time I brought the cat home and Mama made me take it back. Let us not concede a failure, baby. We must handle this together. Gently, but firmly. Do you know Avec finesse. Hello, Susan. We're back, Mama. Well, I was beginning to wonder. Ah, it was a long matinee, wasn't it, baby? You look tired, my love. Oh, oui, Mama. You work too hard. Well, it's no more than I've always done, and I enjoy it. Yes, but it is good to have leisure, too. Time to do other things. What other things? Well, you know, other things. To shoot the shoots at Luna Park. <laughs> but I don't wish to shoot the shoots. Whatever gave you this idea? Well, it's because we have a surprise for you. Should be and run errands, too. What on earth are you talking about? The maid we have engaged to help with the housework. You see, we are always thinking of you. A maid? And have we just inherited a million dollars? She's called Millionette Chapuis. We saw her backstage after the show. She'd lost her job. She was crying. She was all alone. She had no place to go. But her job, what does she do? She's a magician. A magician? This is all I need. Oh, no, 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 you misunderstand. She is with the magician. With, you know, uh, the beautiful one who stands at the side of the stage and cries, hey, voila. And also, hop. 
This makes all the difference. Ah, but you'll be delighted with her. You know, she told me she was a magnificent cook. And she has a strong desire to wash the dishes, mop the floors and dust the chairs, as well as make the beds and serve the meals. Et voilà. Et voilà. And when she serves the meals, will she make the dishes disappear and cry, et voila? <laughs> <laughs> Jacques, how did she lose her job with this magician? Well, I tell you, uh, Bibi, you better wash your hands before dinner. Why is it every time things get interesting, my hands get dirty? Bibi, please. Allez, quickly, the best one. So? Well, it is that um, with this magician, she provides certain services that we have described. But the magician is a man whose hand is quicker than the eye. Do you know So today, no job, no money. She cries, I come by. Et voila, and also hope. Very well, Jacques. How soon will she arrive? Oh, she's already arrived. She's in the hall, waiting. <laughs> come, let's make her feel at home. Good. This, Bibi, this is, please. This is Madame Bonnard. It's good of you to come to help me. But now it's good of you to help me. You have a lovely house. Well, thank you. Uh, Bibi, will you show Mignonette up to the spare room? Take the bag, Bibi. It's a small room at the top of the house, but I think you'll find it comfortable. Merci bien. Well, that's settled. Wait a minute, Jacques. Yes? What about your brother Desmond? What about Desmond? The Casanova of Canada. This girl is young and pretty. Oh, name of a green sheep. He's not going to molest her. After all, he's not the devil. Besides, he's on the road selling his wines. It will not be back for months. Now, darling, please, don't worry about the entire female population I'm of Canada. No more! No, I hear it again and again. You're a fucking wine cave. You drink like a hole. Don't be so fancy. The king is not your cousin. Give me that. Take care. The mustard is rising in my nose. Break out yourself. Drunk! Dirty! While your only child becomes an old maid! Yippee. Do not tempt yes. me to break your arm! Take care! It is war! Listen to me! You will become sober! Before you can set foot again in this house, you will become sober! Good! Let's fix it that way! Jacques, what will the neighbors think? Why worry about the neighbors? These are the neighbors. She stole this from me. Imagine to yourself a wife who steals. It's against nature, and it's bad. Is anything wrong, Madame Bonnard? Don't worry, my dear. You'll get used to it in time. Monsieur Bonnard's brother, a mignonette chef, oui. Mademoiselle. Come, mignonette. There are things on the stove, and I want you to see the kitchen. Are you all settled? Do you think you'll be comfortable? Ah, yes. My room it is beautiful. The house and all of you are wonderful. You've made me so happy. We're glad you're here. Ah, oh, you baby. I, uh, I brought your mother's vacuum cleaner back. with your mother. She an aunt of yours or something? When I was watching, I saw her kiss you, and she's pretty old. She must be some kind of relative if she kissed you. Well, I just thought I'd tell you I brought your mother's vacuum cleaner back. I thought you might want to know. Boy. What? What did you say? Say, do those bands on your teeth hurt? Oh! You, mon frère, I'm a burden on you, huh? I'm your black beast. Certainly not. You are my brother, of whom one can boast he drinks wine from a water cooler. That's something few people can say. I made only one mistake. I married a woman who wanted a career. Felix? She wanted this career dressmaking. She demanded it. And I, a man of promise, was forced to retire and dream. 
never marry a woman with a career. She'll walk on your feet all your life. I'll try to remember. You are welcome here, Louis. Just close your eyes and let the storm pass. You're a brother worth keeping. Hello, my brother! The wandering fox returns! Name of a million names. Desmond, it cannot be. Are you taken by surprise? Sur oh, surprise is not the word. You should be on the road, selling. No, you are confused. Now, how can I be on the road when I'm here? Oh, no. Jack, uh, give me a hand with the other suitcase in the car. Hello, Louis. Desmond, you are home. Oh, I am home. But you, my red-nosed brother, you are once again the traveler, eh? <laughs> Let us celebrate with the best wine sold in Canada. Compliments of my company. Oh. Uncle Desmond! Bibi! <laughs> you trip, Uncle Desmond. Were there many adventures? Well, you know, Bibi, where Desmond's horse has trod, no grass will grow. I do Can not I understand. understand. What are you doing in Ottawa? Have you lost your job? No, the sales manager lost his. Uh, Bibi, bring us some glasses. What do you mean? Yes, uh, he's dead. He has unscrewed his billiard table. So the office sent for me. To offer you the job? Well, an office, a desk, a secretary. And you said yes? No, I said no. <gasps> I'm not a rich man. You said no. Why? Well, you should see the secretary. Oh, Desmond, you cannot be serious. My dear brother, I like to travel. I have no desire to settle down. So? I said I would stay here in Ottawa until they find another sales manager. And then I'm gone again. Mes frères, Thank you, à votre bonne santé. The clan has gathered. Desmond, you don't need wine. You are a tonic to yourself. Well, see you at dinner. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Look, a jewel. The finest garter on the stage today. Say, that's the cat's whiskers. The garter of Mademoiselle Fifi, Sonia, and Martinez Leroux of the Casino Burlesque in Montreal. <laughs> this is one for my collection, Bibi. Now, let me demonstrate how I fought for and won this gem of the burlesque. Move over. Now, watch carefully. It was a hard fight. Now, we are at the Casino Burlesque. You're the man sitting next to me. He is an old hand at this game, an expert in the art. He has a bigger cane with a silver band on it. But I have the quicker eye. We are evenly matched. Now observe. Mademoiselle Fifi prepares to throw the garter. The drums roll. The trumpets blow. I, you will observe, have brought my cane to the thrusting position. And now she throws it. I have it. I have it. <laughs> Go back to your water cooler. This is not how it happened? This is not how it happened. Ah, this one. Oh, hello, my old oh. <laughs> So, this body, you have not yet been shot by an unhappy husband. Uh, what's the occasion this time, huh? The widow Latouche is waiting. I'm late. Oh, oh, it will unscrew your billiard table. Believe me, not even a young man can go out every night dancing and never sleep. Something will collapse. Maybe the arteries or the veil. The one who knows of a better way to die, will he step forward? Well, I'm off, gentlemen. Someday you will see. Our father will be coming home from one of these capers, and suddenly, first the doctor, then the priest. Ah, oh, well, he is right. The one who knows of a better way. I'll help you unpack it, Desmond. You will indeed. We have a maid now, named Mignonette. All right. To help her mom. She was a magician with the vaudeville show. With, you understand? With. She said, hey, voila, and also, pop. of a golden pigeon. <laughs> I'm Desmond, the brother. There are many brothers. Madame is in the kitchen. Oh, dear. Uh, allow me. Now your stockings are so... Blue paint. Desmond. Hello, Suzanne. You're looking well. It is nothing, Madame Monat. An accident. I'll go up and change. The accident is you being here. Couldn't have come at a worse time. To the contrary, the timing seems perfect. But what about your job, Desmond? Desmond? Now, first things first, Suzanne. I will explain everything to you later.
Lou Carter. Superb. Do you have the card ready for this one? Uh, the card can wait. Uh, more important things on my mind at the moment. Uh, BB, uh, Maggie Parry, do you wish it? Oh, merci, Uncle Desmond. I'll take it to school and trade it for baseball pictures. It's very popular, but only with the boys. Uh, I have observed that myself. I understand you're with the vaudeville. Uh, you like to travel? Hmm? No, I don't. So, I love it. The spirit of adventure. I am not adventurous. Oh, but you are, or you wouldn't be living in this house. It takes great courage to live here, believe me. Uh, especially when uh, Saint Louis of the water cooler arrives and all the brothers Bonnard are together. Have you met Don Père? Oh, there's the white wolf to beware. Now, wait. I'm going to give you a token for your great courage and daring to live here. A medal. of a green sheep. Well. Papa? I think I would like a pair of long pants. Governor General enters the Senate chamber and seats himself on the throne chair, his lady beside him. Uh, the Speaker of the Commons, with the members of the lower house, stands outside an elaborate wooden fence. The bar of the Senate at the opposite end of the chamber. And now from the throne chair, the Governor General reads La Gay Paris. <laughs> The Governor General reads what from the throne? What did I say? <laughs> Why, you obviously have not got your mind on what you were saying, Robert. The homework for tomorrow will be an essay on the Canadian Parliament at Ottawa. Class dismissed. Back on magazine. I saw you take it. Don't you want to trade? I got a swell bunch of baseball pictures. Give it back to me, I said. I'm in a hurry. Hey, hot ziggity. This one's a Lulu. I told you I didn't want to trade. Will you give it back to me? Ah, you give me a pain. It stinks anyhow. Robert hey. What have you been doing out here? Fighting. I'm sure of it. It's nothing, Miss T. I tripped. That magazine. Let me see it. Give it to me this instant. Follow me. This is a matter for Mr. Fry to look into. Proceed, Miss Tate. Do not spare yourself when investigating the origin of wickedness. Then I found him fighting in the hall with that magazine in his possession. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Contamination all around us, and now it's seeping into my school. Miss Tate, we must practice greater vigilance against the agencies of evil. As for you, young man, if I were not given to excessive leniency, I would throw mercy to the winds and punish you severely. Don't let this ever happen again. I trust you will heed the warning. Yes, sir. Very well, you may go. Robert, what happened? I can't tell you, I'm late. Late for what? Has she been in yet? Who? Minnie Nat, the one I help with the shopping every day. Have I missed her? Oh, that one? No, I have not seen her, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Minnie Nat! Minnie Nat! Minnie Nat, what's wrong? Why aren't you shopping today? Because today I go to the movies. It's my day off. Oh, I forgot. Last Thursday you were off, too. I played baseball. What movie are you going to see, Minnie Nat? The one with Rudolph Valentino. But that's playing at Papa's theater. If I go with you, I can get us in for nothing. Absolutely free. That would be wonderful, baby.
Valentino, he's so handsome. Even his horse is handsome. <laughs> and all that sad. Look, there's Grandpierre. Something is wrong. Papa, what's the matter? What happened? Are you all right? Ah, go away. Leave me alone. Hey. I'm only resting. Resting? You've blown your fuses. Come on. Ah, put me down. Bibi, run to the corner and get the doctor. I will not be carried through the streets like a roulette of beef. Is this Sir. right back for you? Sir. 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 Put me down. Deposit me. I'll stop it or I will deposit you on the floor. Wait, get some water. I'll send Bibi for Dr. Marshall. Uh, that quack is no better than a hyena. Louis Cognac. Be still. Where is that water? The water. I don't need a bath. I need a drink. I'll get the water. Louis, I said Cognac. Ah, shh. You're paying for the pot you have broken, my old boy. Give me back my hand. I'm losing patience to come on. Where were you last night? And all day today? None of your business. The widow Latouche. Oui. First the doctor, then the priest. Ah. It's Dr. Marchand. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Doctor. Get out. I've not sent for you. I am here just the same. So, we have a man with lead in his wings, huh? Oh, take care. I've never liked your face. Uh, go. Uh, Papa, please. Jacques, Lie a down. glass of water. Quiet. My father is dying. I've warned you before. It's bad enough for a young man to burn the candle at both ends. But with you, there's nothing but the wick. Well, that's burnt out. <laughs> a man stumbles in the street and then... The vultures gather. <laughs> the pulse is like a roller coaster at Luna Park. Open his shirt. Oh, must I enjoy this? I'm not a public display. No, you're a public nuisance. Now, I would like to hear you breathe. I will try to oblige. Heartbeats. We can call that beating. By the rules, he is dead. <laughs> we live to drink wine at your funeral. Let us not sprain the truth. This old spider has spun his web. If you wish to save him, you must go on a diet. You understand? Oh, he'll follow your instructions. I guarantee that. Very well. This diet will consist of uh, wet toast, uh, warm milk, bad. and on rare occasions, a mushed egg, barely cooked. Better to die. That is a matter of taste. My fee is four dollars. Right. Don't, don't pay nothing, nothing. Give him nothing. Oh, this is a puzzle. Oh, yeah, you see. I had better tell Madame we'll be here for dinner. I do not think we should go out tonight. Yes, this. maybe it's better this way. What way? You have an engagement? Yes, to go dancing. But there are other nights, come on. Relax. No, we'll not, unless you promise to keep your plan. A Bonard never disappoints a pretty girl. You'll take her dancing and insist on it. As you say. Now, will you lie down? Only if it is agreed. We, oui, it is agreed. Bien. <laughs> you dance well. But Valentino, there is a dance. Valentino, Valentino, that's all you've been talking about. He's my rival. Well, before the night is over, I'll make you forget him. Oh, no, Desmond. We must be getting back now. It's still early. We really must. Very well. Uh, garçon, l'addition, s'il vous plaît. Me and Monsieur. Please, Desmond. But why? Now, must you jump every time I touch you? I wish to know why. Desmond, let's be honest. We live in different worlds. Yours is a world of hotels and travel, living in suitcases. And do you carry a mansion around on your back? No, but I have lived in suitcases too. All my life with traveling shows until my parents died. Then more of it in vaudeville on my own. Until I came to live at your brother's house. Believe me, I'm never going back to this other world, the world you love. I've had enough of it. Uh -huh. So this is the eel under the rock. You make it sound like I will never change. Desmond, you live for the moment only. That's not true. It is true. But this should not bother you. It is your life to live as you choose. And no one is trying to change it. Least of all, I. So you travel and 
collect garters and see the world, your world, while I dream of different things. There is no harm in it for either of us, but there is no future either. Do we understand each other? My poor dove. <laughs> so you have everything figured out, haven't you? All wrong. Now, how such a sensible and beautiful girl can be such a sorry judge of character astonishes me, really. So, you think I'm a rogue, don't you? If I said yes, it would only flatter you. Very well, very well. We shan't deny that. But did it ever occur to you that a rogue has dreams, too? my dream. I want you to see this. Uh, my father, you understand, owns this house up the Gatineau by the edge of the river. Then why doesn't he live in it? Because he has come to live with us now. But he has promised it to me when I settle down. Do you like it? Oh, it is very beautiful. You're lucky to have it. You see, here, where my finger is, are the woods. And here, behind the house, are the apple trees. They're white with blossoms in the spring. So much ground. It's lovely. A lot for one man to take care of. Oh, but I, I would not be there alone. There will be help. Someone to share the joy with, I assure you. I don't believe you'll have any trouble finding someone, Desmond. There are a lot of women in Canada, and you seem to have met most of them. Of course. But did it ever occur to you that I might have been searching for something, too? It is at least an explanation, even if I don't believe it. But you believe in the house? Yes, I want to believe. But don't you see? Our dreams are the same. Miss you. So I noticed. And the house up the Gatino. Is it nice like this? There's no comparison. You will adore it. It's Sure this time of it? Positive. Ready to spring. Oh, no. Mademoiselle, to a man in my condition, the bite of a butterfly can be fatal. But I don't believe it. A butterfly is harmless. Uh, who knows? A kiss is harmless, too, but to you it is fatal. I do not believe that, either. Do, Desmond. It is very late. I warn you. Even I can run out of patience. Good night, Desmond. Another time, perhaps. Sooner than you think.
matter, Uncle Louis? This. If I didn't know myself so well, I would swear there was a leak in here. A dry well's a ghastly thing, baby. Let me fill it for you. Yeah. No wonder men go mad in the desert. In the movies, the desert looks pretty good. I saw Rudolph Valentino today. He enjoyed it. Well, he must have had a bottle hidden in the sand someplace. I'm sure of it. Oh, there's a boy with talent. Uncle Louis. Rudolph Valentino kissed this girl. Something happened to her. I don't see how he could kiss her at all if he was thirsty. But he did. Several times he kissed her. Each time, she seemed to like it more. We... There can be magic in the kiss. It can change a man's whole life. Ah, this I already know. But can a kiss change a woman's life? I think this would depend on how she was kissed. This Rudolf Valentino is irresistible because there is love in his heart. You comprend, Bibi? I see. And only then does this kiss have magic. This is very interesting, Uncle Louis. Very interesting. theorem in plain geometry. Well, Robert, what are you waiting for? Uh, the square of the hypotenuse equals the sum of the square oh, of Mr. the other Fry. two sides. Class, attention. Good morning, Mr. Fry. Good morning, Miss Tate. How are all your pupils today? No further problems in department, I trust? None whatsoever, Mr. Fry. Good. <coughs> I'd like to hear them recite. Class, be seated. Well, I see you have a young uh, acrobat in your class, Miss Tate. Yes, unfortunately, it is Robert Bonnard. Ah, yes, the lad with the magazine. What were you trying to do, Robert? 
I thought perhaps I'd forgotten to sign my homework, Mr. Fry. Well, we shall see if you did. Robert Barnard's homework. No, sir. I demand the truth. Is this your work? No, sir. I didn't do it, Mr. Fry. That is the truth. That is not the truth. But we'll find the truth. Which of you saw him draw this? Young lady, did you see him? Well, answer me. Did you? Yes, sir. I saw him draw it. So, now we have the truth. Follow me. You are an evil, wicked, obstinate boy. But I shall at least teach you that there is no substitute for the truth. I have been lenient beyond reason. But I want the truth, and I shall get the truth. For the last time, I put it to you. Did you draw that filthy picture? No, sir, Mr. Fry, you I You insolent lying rascal, hold out your hand. The truth! The truth! The truth! You will come to this office every single day. And every single day I will beat you until you confess and tell the truth. You may go. Habibi. Laugh, sing, rejoice. There is good news. I am home. And my daughter Yvonne has obtained a lover who wishes to make marriage with her. That's very good, Uncle Louis. He comes now, the fiancé of Yvonne's, to ask permission to make the marriage. Any moment he comes, and I need special wine in his honor. Go and fetch me two bottles of your father's finest. Very well, Uncle Louis. I'll get them for you. Oh, this of Alfred must go well. I'm as nervous as a fish on Friday. But do not worry, my dear. At last you are getting a husband. I promise you. What are you doing in here? This is one day I do not wish to hear the clatter of your tongue. Name of a green pig, look at your tie. Well, well, then fix it. But rest your mouth. I warn you, your daughter's happiness is at stake today. Don't you think I know that? Now, I do not wish women in the room when Alfred comes, it is understood. You will remain in the kitchen. Calm your bile. You are not yet the father-in-law. And in the name of heaven, do not breathe on Alfred. You still reek from that cheap wine. Be quiet. A better grade is on the way. I've sent Bibi to get it. You sent for wine? Naturellement. Only the best for Alfred. Idiot. Arrange your ears and listen. Alfred does not drink. To comprend? He has never touched a drop in his life. A man who does not drink wine? He does not drink. This is hard cheese to swallow. You will swallow it. But you will swallow no more wine today. If Alfred discovers Yvonne's father drinks wine from a water cooler, c'est alors, all is lost. Name of a dog, do not tell me my business. I will handle this Alfred like a diplomat. With or without wine. Go, Ali, both of you, into the kitchen. You will learn who makes the weather in this family. Here's the wine, Uncle Louis. Oh, I've had a great shock, B.B. It seems this fiancé of Yvonne's, this Alfred, suffers from a grave illness. He's sick? Oui. He's opposed to wine. Oh, magnifique. A good vintage. <laughs> what a pity. A man who does not drink. Well, that's the way it is with some bankers, you know. <laughs> I didn't tell you, B.B., this Alfred uh, was a banker. Ah, oui. He's, I believe, the president of the largest bank in Ottawa. At least one. It wouldn't surprise me if it's discovered that he also controls banks in Montreal and throughout Canada. You've met him before? No. But the great moment is at hand. At last we shall meet. What a vintage. 
comes here, another fiancé to speak to me, baby. To me he comes, baby. Not to Phyllis. To me. I offer a seat. He sits. We speak of the world, the position of the pound sterling. He explains to me with care his great wealth, his high social position. I listen. I ask questions. I examine closely. For it is I, the father, who must approve this marriage. If I do not approve, he's gone. The bell is here. Quick, the bottles. Lou, you forgot your shoes. Sacre bleu. Let him in. I must get my shoes. I am Alfred Gartin. Come in, please. Thank you. It's a hot day. Very hot. Make yourself at home. My uncle will be right down. Merci. Merci. Bien. Bonheur, I have a great thirst and have helped myself to the water. What? You don't want that water. There's fresh water in the kitchen. Please, this water is fresh enough. It's just that the pipes are a little rusty. Eh bien. Monsieur, I am filled with love for your daughter. I wish to discuss the matter from every side. We must be very thorough. Of course. Proceed. I am the father. I work in a bank, you know. All the world knows. International trade. What is the situation of the Swiss gold franc? What do you think of the Canadian Pacific Rail? One bank. One bank. Monsieur, it is permitted. As I was explaining, in this bank, I add up the checks, also the coins. The pound sterling, perhaps. Is it expected to rise? The pound sterling. I know nothing of this. I'm a simple clerk. A clerk? Boy, a clerk. I'm unbuttoned. This is another pair of sleeves. How can a clerk afford automobiles, jewels, rare cheeses, trips abroad? Yvonne does not wish such things. Simple things, much better. Small house, flowers, many babies. Many babies? How can a clerk in a small bank give her many babies? It's not the bank that counts in these cases, monsieur. I do not like this kind of music. The salary, what is it? Fifteen dollars a week. Small increase each year until it reaches 22. There, it is stabilized. Stabilized? At $22? It does not rise beyond this? This is minus insurance. Also deductions for employees, the sick fund, and my mother's allowance, which brings it back to $15.28 by the time I'm 40. And you pick where you started. Well, a man's expenses increase with advancement, monsieur. Think of your children! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You must be fed, you must have clothes, you will grow up, you will go to university. Oh, I'm not so sure of that. The best, McGill perhaps, Toronto, Queens, good. But tell me, mon ami, how do you intend to send seven children to the university on $22 a week, stabilized? I'll not send them to the university. It's time they went to work. Work? My grandchildren work? Tell me, mon ami, why did you have these children if you can't afford to bring them up? It's too big a load for a man to carry. I'll not spend another cent on their education. But what have you done all these years with your money? Do you spend your nights gambling and roistering while your poor wife now pale and thin waits at home alone? How alone? She has seven children. They're at the university. No, they're out earning a living for their poor old papa. Spent all his life in a bank. These are my children. These are my grandchildren. Sacre bleu, they must have an education. Monsieur, I am the father. I will decide. Speak one more word and I'll have no children at all. No children? None. Not one. What have happened to me? What have you done to Alfred? He refuses to have children. He will not send them to the university. Alfred, 
scoff back. Veloth, what has happened? Leave me alone. I don't need any of you. I'll have my children myself. And they'll go to work. Watch out! Well, are you satisfied? You have destroyed the happiness of your only daughter. There goes her best chance. You understand? Her best chance. It's the father's duty to speak with the suitor. Ah, there are no suitors. And until you find one, you cannot step foot in this house again. Don't worry, Uncle Louis. I'm your friend. Oh, Bibi. It's good to hear someone say it. We should go looking for Alfred and make him come back. But even the Royal Mounted Police could find Alfred now. Where, well, Louis? This time I put my finger in my eye. I've destroyed the happiness of my daughter. Oh, don't believe that. If the young man loves Yvonne, he will come back when he becomes sober. If he doesn't, it's well you frightened him away. <laughs> oh, name of a piggy was drunk. Oh, I thought it was someone else. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but he should be along in a minute now. As a matter of fact, Desmond usually gets home ahead of me. Hello, sweetheart. She blushes. That's a bad sign, eh? That's enough, Jacques. Your brother's changed very much recently. I'm glad. Well, in that case, I'm glad too. If his intentions are serious, I'll be very happy. He's already shown me a picture of his house. It's charming. What house? The house on the Gatineau with the apple trees. You know, your father's house. Your father's house? Desmond? There's a broken string on my violin. Wait, I Monsieur think... Bonnard. Is there such a house? Well, you know Desmond? I'm sure you have something in mind. Yes, I know Desmond. But I am luckier than the others. What others? The others who believed him. The picture was well worn. Thank you for letting me know. Well, you say anything else? It's not necessary to say any more. It is all very clear. A man who collects garters as well as hearts. My dear, we're sorry. We'll speak to Desmond. And when you do, madame, tell him to stay in his own room at night. Jacques, this is serious. What are you going to do about it? I'm very surprised at Desmond. This doesn't sound like him at all. It's not just that. It's all the men in this house. Desmond and Louis and your father. They're not good for Bibi. Bibi? What does Bibi have to do with this? He's growing up. He can't watch these men do the things they do around here and not be affected. But darling, these men are not evil. One drinks, another is young and looks for girls. Another is old and uh, looks for girls. There's no harm in it for Bibi. That he sees them does not mean that he will imitate them. Jacques, you're fooling with your child's life. And if anything happens to him, I'll never forgive you. As long as I live. But Susan, please. Susan, wait. Look, it is Rudolf Valentino. A fly with me, fly with me into another dawn. The name of a name, what was that for? That mignonette. Last night, the water. I thought you were being playful, but this is too much. I demand an explanation. Name of a name? Now, why should a woman come up the hinges like that? Bibi, please. Can we dispense with the music? Thank you. This house is contagious, Bibi. Don't let it get you down. <laughs> I want 
go back to school. I'll never go back to school. I didn't do it. It isn't fair. <laughs> Why do I have to tell lies to escape a beating? What, what, what's the happened? What is this about school? Mama, who beat you? Beating? What beating? <laughs> Come on, BB. Now, please stop crying and tell, tell us what happened. What is this of a beating? In school, the principal finds a dirty picture. It's from La Gay Paris, which I've taken there. No, 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 wait. They are not dirty pictures in La Gay Paris. They are, it is true, pictures of women with few clothes, but this is not dirty. Oh, no. But this is only the beginning. It's a picture of a girl standing like so. Jacques. This is not dirty. But in this picture, on the head, instead of the face of the girl in the magazine, there's drawn the face of Miss Tate, my teacher. This is indelicate, but it is still not dirty. But also with the pencil, many things have been added. This could be dirty. I've had enough now. Do you understand? Well, are you satisfied? It's not Uncle Desmond's fault. Only Peggy O'Hare's. When the principal asks her if I drew the picture, she says, yes, I drew it. It's a lie. I didn't draw it. But why would Peggy tell a lie like that about you? I don't understand. She kicks me. She trips me. She spills ink on my books. Why does she do this to me? Uh -huh. oh, oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But why? Well, Bibi, it is that Peggy wishes to be your girl. My girl, look, black and blue. Oui, it is how American women show affection. I have been in Detroit. But the beating, tell us about the beating. The principal says that every day I must come to him. And every day he'll beat me with a strap. What? Until I tell the truth. Now, Bibi, look at me. You did not draw the picture. No, Papa. Now listen to me. The truth has many forms, you know, Paul? But when a man says, my truth must be, I will beat you with a strap for the sake of my truth, this is evil. This we must fight with every weapon, Bibi. My brothers, it seems there is a man at school who is looking for the truth. Shall we go and help him find it? Yes, I have a strong desire to clean the blackboards with whatever I find. Let us shake up his fleet. You see how it is, BB? When one is hurt, all are hurt. This is for all time. Allo! 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 Now you will see, BB, what it is to be a bonheur. We go to avenge the honor of the family. Yes? Monsieur, I'm Jacques Bonnard, a lover of truth and also a father. I have a son called Bibi. You recall him? Bibi? Robert. Robert. Robert Bonnard. Oh, yes, the boy who drew that dirty picture. I know why you're here, gentlemen, but you're wasting your time. Why was deservedly punished for something he did? You believe this? As a matter of belief, it's true. And now, if you'll excuse me, I was just on the point of going home. Uh, we would like you to stay for a while and talk. About what? The truth! Don't you try to intimidate me. Nobody intimidates. Personne. And when you speak to me, kindly speak English. Très bien. Très bien. Very well. We'll speak the truth in English, then. The truth seems more naked in English, but it is not, therefore, more easily embraced. We will drink some wine. You will not drink here. Ah, but wine is a notable source of the truth, monsieur. You have no glasses? What kind of a school is this? I've had enough of this. What are you trying to do? Talk to you. Perhaps they're paper cups. It is true that my son brought to school this magazine, the Gay Paris. Perhaps that was a mistake. Perhaps there are minds here that are not as well adjusted as my son's. In our family, you understand, these magazines are for humor, not for excitement. There is a difference. That is a matter of opinion. No, no, it is a matter of fact. 
My son is not the kind that draws dirty pictures. That is a different kind of mind, you understand? A small investigation will show it. A small investigation has already proven beyond a doubt that the boy did draw it. Oh, what have we here? Aha, uh -huh. it is with this he evokes the truth, huh? Don't you try to bully me. And let me tell you something, sir. Your son drew that picture because I say he drew it. And I will be believed against him, against you, against the entire French population of Ottawa. And if you object to the fact that I used that strap on your son, I will say to you that I will not tolerate a lewd attitude in my school, that I will maintain discipline by the continued use of that strap, that the Board of Education condones it and the law allows it. And if any one of you so much as lays a finger on me, I'll have the three of you clapped in jail. Now get out and take your wine with you. Just a moment. Let me see that cane. I warn you, take care. This is the same cane. I remember the silver band of the whole design. That there could not be two alike in the whole world. And you're the same man. <laughs> Name of a dark blue pig. My brothers, this is the man who sat next to me at the Casino Burlesque in Montreal. I... Not once, mm -hmm. but many times. No. I thought his face was familiar. What are you getting at? And the voice, too. Now, this is the one who cries the loudest. Take it off, take it off. And with the cane, what's the goddess thrown from the stage? It's a lie, an outrageous lie. Who would believe such a story? I would. It has the ring of truth, believe me. I can prove it is true. The doorman, my friend, and the girl, they will remember him. Now, wait till the neighborhood hears of this. You wouldn't dare spread such a scandal. I'll deny it. Ah, but in this case, many people would believe our truth and not yours. You're not the only one with a dirty mind, my friend. You'll make great news, believe me. No, you wouldn't dare. But we could dare to spread this story about you, after what you said about my son, and I could make you admit it. With this trap that you have used on my son, I could come here every day with this trap, or find you anywhere else and beat you and beat you and beat you. Until you say yes, I have been to the burlesque. But it's not the truth. Ah, now we have it. The truth, that's the point. Where does it lie? Let us try to find it together, shall we? Louis? There are paper cups in the hall. Desmond, Mr. a chair, a chair for the principal. And now, the class will come to order. <laughs> well, Bibi, Truth has won a great victory today. The principal now understands I didn't draw the picture? Understands? He insists. <laughs> Is everything all right? Everything, my love. There will be no more trouble. Let us drink to the Bonnard family. Yes, oh, a toast is in order. Bibi, up you go. Oh, not on the table. Ah, this is an occasion. The Bonnard family. From Napoleon to Bibi. Oui. Congratulations, Bibi. Papa, my uncles, you are very great men. <laughs> and don't we know it? <laughs> Desmond. Huh? Come down. This principal. Did you ever see him at the burlesque? Uh, who knows? When I am at the burlesque, I don't look at the customers. Uh, <laughs> where is Mignonette? Mignonette is gone. Gone? Mignonette is gone. She didn't want you to know. But, uh, what do you mean she's gone? Where? I don't know where, but she's left us forever, and I don't blame her after what you did. Lying to her about a house you didn't even own. Oh, so that's it. Oh, <laughs> I tell you, this is absurd. But you don't deny it. It's possible I exaggerated slightly. The usual thing you tell a girl. Now, what's the house, more or less? To me, Ned, it was everything. Desmond, you treated her miserably. A man who not only lies, but who sneaks into a room at night to steal a kiss. What? She said I did this? That I went into a room She did, and I believe her. You should be ashamed. But I do not eat this kind of bread. I swear it's not true. What kind of a girl did you take her for? Like all the others that you steal goddess and kisses from? In the name of a cow, I stole nothing from her. I wouldn't do a thing like that to her. I love her. I... Don't you understand? I'm in love with her. Then you picked a fine way to show it. No wonder you lost it. I love her. 
And I've lost her. Doesn't seem possible. And over something I never did. You mean an Uncle Desmond? You love me, Ninette? Like fireworks. She would never believe it now. Baby, you can help me with the table tonight. Excuse me, Mama. But we have a question of love and truth to settle here. Love and truth. We. And the two are together. It's very strong. It's of the greatest significance. Is it not, Papa? Yes, yes, it is that, baby. I too am a bona. When one is hurt, all are hurt. Uncle Desmond, Papa, Mama, Uncle Louis. What is it you wish to say, Bibi? It was I who stole a kiss from Mignonette in her room. Bibi! It is not necessary to lie for me, Bibi. But it's the truth. Believe me, I did it. In this house, we speak only the truth. Tu comprends? Uncle Louis will tell you. The other night, we spoke of Rudolph Valentino and the magic of a kiss. Remember, Uncle Louis? That is true. We agreed this Rudolph Valentino had a great love in his heart. And it was right after that that I... I went into Mignonette's room and kissed her while she was asleep. Bibi. Bibi, bless you. I'm going to find that girl and make her listen. If I have to search every inch of Ottawa, the entire dominion of Canada, and even buy her that house. Maybe I too shall go out now. Twice in a day. That's a record. Ah, but this is a day, my brother. This is a day when the blood moves in the veins. I, too, go on a mission of love to make happy the heart of my daughter. I go to find the stabilized Alfred. Well, Jacques, I don't think you can put it off any longer. Yes, the moment has come. Our little boy is growing up. Well, I'll, uh, I'll be in the kitchen. Good. Something the matter, Papa? Hmm? No. No, oh, I... Just a tad. I think you and I should have a little talk. Sit down, baby. Well, there's no need to ask you why you did what you did. No. The reason is obvious. You did it because... Why did you do it? I had a desire to know what would happen if I kissed Mignonette the way Valentino did. You were curious. We were curious. Nothing more. There is something more, but I don't know what it is. Is this uh, something more of which we shall speak? Now, you see, Bibi, this, um, this desire you have is a natural one. And since it is natural, it cannot be bad. It becomes bad only when the reason is bad. That's why so many people are mixed up. I, too, am mixed up. Why, of course. So am I. Well, let's try to and mix ourselves, shall we? Now, Bibi, we speak now of love. Yes, Papa. And where there is love, there is also desire. They go together. Love must have the desire. I don't believe there can be love without it. But it is possible to have the desire without love. And this is where the world falls apart. For instance, you don't understand why the principal of your school beat you? No, Papa. Well, it is because he has been brought up to believe that the desire is wrong. And since he himself has the desire, he's even more mixed up than we are. He has been brought up in a world where the desire has been used so badly, so badly, believe me, that now it itself is thought to be bad, and this is wrong. This is wrong, Bibi. And you know the reason for this condition? is because so many people are without love. Many people? Many. Uncle Louis? You love your Uncle Louis, don't you? I love him strongly. That's good. 
He has a great need of love. And without love, one is defeated. But this love is different. The love I have for Uncle Louis is different from the love I have for you. This also is different from the way I love Mama. And then, Mignonette. Hey, baby. And this love we speak of now, when it is real, when it is true, it is the greatest love of all. I know. We have it here, in this house, Mama and I. It is the best, it is the most natural. In this way, the world comes down to a house, and a room, and a bed. And if there are two people in love there, that is the whole world. Of course, you won't know this for many years. You know it's possible never to know it? I hope you will. If you are as lucky as I am, you will. I will look for someone like Mama. Oh, no, 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 on the contrary. The secret is not to imitate. Look for your heart's need, and she will come. Well, I've talked enough, and still you don't know what I wish to say. I think I do. Well, perhaps when you are a little older, and we speak of this again, I will find better words. Oh, by the way, uh, I left something in your room. It's in a box. For me? Tell me if you like it. Merci. Stabilize Alfred, who is not so stabilized. Louis, where did you find him? In jail, of course, but we've made a few stops since. <laughs> Are you friends now? Yes, we have settled the problem. The sons will go to the university, the daughters will go to work. <laughs> Alfred, you're a son in law worth keeping. Oh, oh Louis! You see, darling, it's true. Love conquers all. Of course, a little wine also helps. <laughs> Grandpa! Ah, bonsoir. I'm late. Where are you going? Out. You should be in bed. It's only a matter of time. No! Now this must stop. Susan! Shut! Please, let him be. He will live as long as he loves. <laughs> Jack! Susan! Look what I found! <laughs> it wasn't necessary to search all Canada, Miss Waif. Now, do you know where she went? Where? Straight into the arms of my rival. You find out where? At the movies. Where else? Looking at Rudolph Valentino. But uh, she has given him up. Yes, I have decided if I must live in a tent, I'd rather do it with Desmond. Absolutely, there is no question about it. Nothing will stop her from marrying me. She's like a cat on hot break. <laughs> Hello, Mignonette. Welcome home. Oh, oh. Bibi! Oh, mais regardez notre Bibi! Oh, magnificent! Oh, Bibi, you're irresistible. Come, Bibi. <laughs> Let us see you. Well, turn around. Oh, Bibi, it's wonderful. I must give you something. This is our great day. I have obtained a bride. You have obtained long pants. I think you will like this. Oh, thank you, Uncle Desmond. It looks like a good one. The best. It was given to me personally by the general during the war. Et voilà. Merci mille fois. <laughs> oh, Robert, you've got long pants. Oh, oh, Peggy O'Hare, the fighting American. You look very sweet, Peggy. And your hair is lovely. Thank you. And your braces are gone. Yes, they are. Jacques, you'll be late for the theater. What? Oh, the theater, yes. Thank you very much. Mignonette, wouldn't you and Desmond like a cup of coffee? Of course, we'd love it, madame. Come, Desmond. Uh, yes, uh, my darling. Mm. 
Gee, you look different, Robert. Do I? Why'd you get me into trouble today? I don't know. Name of a name. You know I didn't draw that picture. Jimmy Bishop drew it. Who cares about Jimmy Bishop? Gee, you look nice. Come here. We'll have the truth now. I did not draw that picture. No, Robert. Bien. You wish to be my girl? Mm-hmm. The teeth, please. Bien. If you are my girl, you won't get me in any more trouble? Bien. It's settled, then. You're my girl. Okay, Robert. But if I'm your girl, I deserve something. What? A uh, medal? Oh, yes, of course. This is a very famous medal, accepted personally from the general. Close your eyes. Everything all right? How are you getting along with Peggy? Um, everything has very much changed with the long pants, Papa. It's different. It's different. Papa, what happens here? C'est le temps heureux. It's springtime, the happy time. <laughs> Et mon cœur joyeux, it's springtime, the happy time. When pulses start to jingle, and dreams intermingle, and life acquires a tingle. Oh, isn't this a happy, happy time? Oh, isn't this a happy, happy time? 